Here is White-Headed Duck Bay, named because of the many white-headed ducks we observed here in the past. And we had a little surprise happen to us uh, this summer in the form of this guy. Our conservation work here has always been three steps forward, two steps back. And so, sometimes it's hard to tell if the tide's going in or going out. With our predator work and roadkill and trapping and that kind of stuff, that, that stuff's going well and we're on an upswing. With our long-term chronic efforts at restoration, that's perhaps not as going not as well. So we have cages. Here's cage three in array B in Whitehead Duck Bay. And that, that still has been degraded. There's still uh, been damaged that cage, but it's relatively intact. <laughs> if we swing over here to four, so you think, ah, I think it might be salvageable. Here with cage four, they've even stolen poles. So there's, there's basically nothing left of this corner, for example. And not surprisingly, right inside, there's no plant matter um, taller than about half a centimeter. On the other corner you see the the poles have just been bent almost at a beyond a 45 degree angle so that they can get their animals inside. So that's you know not too great. And then we had right here this wonderful uh, thing that went in this summer. That the story actually starts closer to the water right here with this wonderful pit. Now my, <laughs> my restoration students will appreciate the cross-section. We can talk about uh, hydric soils there. But <clears throat> this is, uh, we're, I'm recording this in September 2011. Um, a colleague of ours from Texas who was visiting for a few days in midsummer over there at our field station was, was out making some observations and saw a bunch of folks come down to the water's edge right about here. We're about mm, 10 meters from, from where the, the reeds start on the other side there and uh, began digging some kind of major excavation here. And uh, he alerted us to that, and uh, thankfully um, it took, a, took another month of lobbying, but we got that stopped. <clears throat> Let me remind you, this is our site. This is um, my Array B in terms of our exclosure uh, experiments. But we named this site White-Headed Duck Bay because of the almost consistently high um, probability. If you see any white-headed ducks, there's a good chance they're going to be here, especially late in the day. It has to do with, we think, just the way this, this bay is set, kind of like this sort of C shape, and it's a, it gets a little bit of a protection from the winds coming this way, and also some semblance of protect, protection of the winds coming that way, um, kind of out of Georgia and the Russian steppes and things like that. And so the one of the government minister um, collaborators with us, uh, uh, yeah, I'll say that, <laughs> um, uh, was, was here and uh, thought, hey, we need a, a better place to view some of these animals. Again, recall, this is an incredibly important place for the birds. On the other side, right here, we have these um, wonderful Phragmite Islands that started a couple years ago, and every year I've been seeing them getting lar uh, expand more and more. And in fact, this year, because the water level is so low, I might actually be able to walk out to them instead of having to take a boat out to examine them. But, you know, great habitat there. Great habitat there for bird breeding, for, for nesting, and all that good stuff. Really nice, uh, sh for this area at least, sheltered geography right here. And we were going to put a giant observation tower here. Now, observation towers can be wonderful things, can really help us with outreach and all that kind of good stuff. Um, but we were, uh, so this was going in, whether we um, needed it or not. And so we finally managed to convince them to pull it back at least to where it is uh, now. You can tell, even though it's about to start raining on us and it's very dark, you can tell that the area where it's been placed now is actually one of the villagers' plots, one of their dry, uh, dry farm plots for wheat. And you can see the, the different coloration here. Um, so whoever is going to farm here is, now has a big chunk of something out of their area, but we, we definitely prefer that than <laughs> to have this at the water's edge. So with the ducks quacking in the background and the call to prayer going on over there at the village, 
let's go and see what we can see from this new vantage point as I get stung by mosquitoes. This is classic Turkish construction here. Concrete based. Excavate your, your plot. In this case, we have a, a nice sort of spindly stairway going up to the top, which is a little difficult to climb at the moment. But we also have an incredibly safe OSHA approved ladder. So let's see what happens if we try to go climb up that thing. Wonderful. Three quarters of the way up, it's starting to drizzle slightly, and this this uh, ladder is, um, shall we say, wobbling on its own accord. So I'm not sure <laughs> uh, if it's the best thing to climb up there at this moment with this with one handed with the camera on my hand. But you can see this does give us a very nice vantage point, which is you know helpful. That that can be good. If we do this right, this could be a helpful draw for tourists, but it has to be done right. And again, this was imposed on us, not necessarily <laughs> something we would have ever chosen, but we have this giant thing. Um, it's not falling down now. I mean, look, there's that actual uh, four by four holding up that, <laughs> that lip of the concrete. So that's cool. That's got to hold at least uh, 20 pounds of weight at the moment. So that's good. So hopefully we'll get some more reinforcement here and this ladder will stop shaking and uh, we'll be able to, to turn this into both a, a useful research platform but also a platform for public engagement and that kind of stuff. Again, very hard to figure out if the tide is coming in if we're making progress or losing it here at our new bird tower over White-Headed Duck Bay at Lake Kujuk, conservation in the real world.